Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be going through and showing you all of my eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. So if you're excited to see what palettes I have and why I have them, then go ahead and keep watching. So I usually show you guys kind of like my palettes as when I do declutters and stuff, but I wanted to sit down and just kind of go through which palettes I have and why I still have them. And maybe I'll be getting rid of some of them. I don't know. I feel like this is like a good way to kind of like get me to go through them and if I can't tell you a reason why I love it then it's gotta go that kind of thing the Lunar Beauty palettes these are the only ones I have but I do absolutely love Manny's formula I love the collections the color stories are always like right on point like this is my natural love and then you have like a very pink and colorful moment like hello yes and the formulas are amazing the package is amazing and then we have a very cool tone moment which I don't have a lot of palettes with like a cool tone moment going on so I really love this palette I need to do more looks with these if you see any palettes that you want me to do some looks with even older ones go ahead and comment down below and I will get them up for you guys so the next category we are going into to is gonna be Huda Beauty. <laughs> ah! um, I love Huda's palettes. I believe that I have all of the big ones. I do not have all of the small ones, but I absolutely love them. I love the formula. I'm a big, big fan of her brand. This is the Rose Gold Remastered palette. I did not get the original one because when it first came out, everyone hated it. So I never bought that one. This one has only been used one time. You can see some of these have not been touched. And then this one is my absolute favorite one from her collection. This is the Desert Dusk. This is the second one. The first one I had, I used to death and then my daughter also destroyed it if you're not new here that was the thing that happened like two years ago and it broke my heart but I got a new one thanks to my amazing friends at work so this is the mercury retrograde 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 and I really do love the packaging of this one because it's more plastic and not like that cardboard feel However, I will tell you, I haven't used this very often, but because these pastel colors are up in here, I just can't get rid of her. I love it so much. I do. I need to start using these. Ah, oh, I need to start doing like a throwback. That's what maybe I'll start doing. I'll start doing that. I'll start doing like throwback makeup looks with different palettes from like before. So nothing new. Ooh, this is the new nudes. I love this palette, but I think my daughters use this palette more than I do. This is the naughty nudes palette that she came out with recently. And I love that again, that it's in the plastic container. This one had some really unique formulas. I know it looks very like, uh, it's a nude, but these formulas were really weird and so was this and like weird in a good way like they were different so these are the smaller ones that i have from huda i have the ruby obsessions i have the emerald obsessions and i've barely touched either of these but they're so pretty like i could use these and then like perfect reds i could use them like i just can't get rid of them so this one is one of the neon ones that i got and then i got two of the um newer obsessions this is the purple haze and khaki haze so i love a good purple palette and i absolutely love this one i think it's very cute very travel friendly and you can get a lot of different looks out of this i thought i loved it i do love it I just haven't used it yet the color story is the reason that I bought it because I really do love like this khaki color right here believe it or not it's a very unique color I don't think I have very many of this like pure army olive green um, I don't know why I said khaki color but like it's like I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to explain it but this color is the whole reason I bought this and I haven't used don't judge me okay so then we're gonna go into the next brand which is kkw beauty so this is a newer one that i got this is the i don't know it just says kkw beauty eyeshadow palette it's just a more small ah a small palette it just has five colors in there this is actually a palette that i really feel like most people should or would have like normal people not us crazy collectors because it comes with enough mattes transition colors a darkened shade to deepen two shimmer colors and a white shade to set our eyes then i have the kkw and mario palette which i love this palette the main reason i did buy this palette is because i adore mario and i have since I've been into makeup so the fact that he collabed with Kim I was so stoked for it and I did get this one I like the formula of them but sometimes they just they're not they're not my tea like this one I got I don't really know why I got it I it's 
looks like every other maroon pink palette I have and like I said her shadows are not the formula isn't bad it's just not like the best one that I have so and then I have this one which is classic and like I said these are barely used <laughs> And this is Classic Blossom. So this is an old one. This is the Desi X Katie Frankation palette from Dose of Colors. I do not use her a lot, but I really think I'm gonna get into using her more because look at her. These two colors are the whole reason I bought this palette. She's, they're just stunning. So I'm just like here for this. I think this is going into a must use pile. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a must use pile and then I'll start using them as like a throwback makeup video. Oh. Yeah, see, this is why I do these things with you guys. So this is the Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn. I got this from BoxyCharm, maybe, I think. It is okay. I love the yellow and the orange. They do come off very pigmented, but I'm not the biggest fan of this palette. I actually might be getting rid of that one. Then I have the Too Faced um, Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. I used this one recently, and I'll go ahead and link that video above. I don't like how this palette smells. <laughs> It smells like banana boat, so I actually, I'm gonna put that in the may get rid of pile too. So then we have this one, which is the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette, and oh, oh, like look at this. I love the whole color story, but these blues, oh my gosh, why haven't I used this one? I don't know, I'm putting it in my use pile. I'm going to use it. So the next brand, you guys can see is ABH. So we have some mini Norvinas. This is the Mini Pro Volume 2. She's never been touched. Mini Volume 1, never been touched. This is actually a very pretty color story. Oh my god, I love this pink down here. Okay, I need to use these. These need to go into the use. And then the Volume 3 Mini. Oh my gosh! Why am I not using these? Oh. Let me tell you a story about why I have these. Um, I absolutely loved the Norvina palette, but I could not bring myself to buy 60 pan palettes. Was it 60? I don't know. It was a lot. Like they were huge, um, but I couldn't buy my bring myself to buy those palettes when I had all of these. But I did want to try them because they are kind of like a sub brand of ABH and they were on sale at Sephora. So I got them and I have not used them. So they're going to go into the definitely need to use pile. So I have subculture. You guys, you guys know. If you know, you know. I, there's nothing more I need to say about that palette. So I have soft glam, which I do love and use. I still currently use this one. Like it's such a go-to. It's so beautiful. It's actually one of my favorites from their collection. This is the um, Resi palette. However, I don't use this as much. I think I've used it like once or twice, but my daughters use it all the time and they have completely just yucked and mucked up these shimmers and that gets on my nerves. But they love this palette, so I keep it around. Don't like the outside, the glitter comes off all the time. So then we have the Prism palette. I keep her around for this color and this color. That's it. Don't care. I still use them. I like them. This one actually wasn't bad. People hated that one. They hated it. I understand why they hated Subculture. But Prism was like my thing. It had such unique shades in it. Then we have Sultry, which is like a sister palette to Soft Glam, but this was more cool tone. I keep this around because like I said, I don't have a lot of cool tone palettes. So I like to have that option. Or if like I'm doing someone else's makeup, I like to have a cool tone option. The girl that started it all. So this was the palette that actually got me to buy all of these other palettes even to buy anything ABH related this is actually the second one I've owned when I first bought the original one I used it to death and then I got this one I will tell you I think that they reformulated them because this one definitely is not as good as my original modern renaissance but this was my absolute favorite ABH palette of all time. Then there's the Norvina one, which I got for like the purples and a little bit more cool tone vibe. I love this one. This one did not have as much hype as I feel like it needed. This was a very beautiful palette and I used this a lot when I first got it uh, for the color story. I love the pinks, I love the blues, the purple, the gold, like those things really stuck out to me and I felt like this was a very unique and different approach for their brand. So I really, really loved this one and I think it's gonna go on my need to use one. So the next brand I'm gonna go into is Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the Sleigh Bell one. I have this and I love this for the individual colors. The only thing I really hated about this palette is that it doesn't really, it doesn't, there's no, 
I don't understand the color story. I don't understand what she was thinking because the only dark color is a red and I'm not going to set with this color, put a red as a transition or a deepening and then use like a green or silver. I don't, I don't really know. I feel like this was missing a whole sister. So I have it, but I'm just, I pick like the colors. So like if I do a look, I will pick one of the colors. Also, I have shifted in my seat because my eyeshadow drawers are down here and it's just easier for me to pull them up because I'm not going to take them all out and put them. There's like a hundred of them. So, so the next one is actually my current favorite from them is the Nudie 2. She is stunning. Like she is a natural girl's dream. There's everything in here from peachy to pinky to maroon, some gold, some cool tone gold. Like there's just so much going on with such a neutral color story. Like I absolutely love this and it's definitely more versatile and travel friendly than the first nudie palette. And then there's this one, which is her original palette, the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajamas. A lot of people wrote her about the flowers. I don't... Who cares? I think it was cute. I love what she was trying to do. I think that it's a very unique mirror. So it like there's flowers around it and people are like, hey, man, I remember how bad and how mean the internet was to Laura Lee over the decoration or just the look of this palette. Like not even the formula, but just the physical look of it. They didn't like this fake glitter feel. I love this. I love that I get that beautiful glitter look, but I don't have to worry about the flex coming off all over me. Like I just did with the ABH one. I loved it. I thought it was cute. And then there is the nudie patootie palette, which is the nudie one basically. Um, this palette, I like it. It's definitely not a palette I use frequently. All Natural came missing. When I got it, it was there, but as soon as I opened it, it fell to the floor. I will say there are some unique shades in here, but some, when I blend them all of the time, like that I've used them, it kind of mucks together. So I just, they're okay. So then I have a dose of colors. I love Sarahi palette. It's just, again, another 6 p.m. palette. This one actually, I feel like, had a little bit better of a color story than the Laura Lee Sleigh Bell because you have two different light colors here. They're not white light, so I can use this as a transition or I can use this as a transition. In this black, oh, she is so glittery. I love it. It makes the black look almost blue. It's so crazy, but I absolutely love this palette. So the next brand is going to be ColourPop. This is the Misunderstood Villain, Disney Villains collection. I like this one. I don't use it. I might actually get rid of it. I think I've only kept it for collective purposes along with the other items. I really do like the packaging and the nostalgia of it. I just, after I used it like once, I didn't care for it. Same with this one, Candyland. Well, Candy Castle, ColourPop Land. It was Candyland and ColourPop Collab. It is a very, very light pastel color palette. And when I tell you these colors didn't come off, they did not come off. And it smells so weird. Like it smells like a burnt candle. It's so strange. So the other two I have are Soul and Mar which have a very pretty color story. These were the first palettes that I got for my YouTube to like review from ColourPop, but I just, I don't really use these anymore. I think these, I think these are gonna go. And then I have the Through My Eyes by Sarah. I love Sarahi in ColourPop. I love the color story. I love the formula in these. I will be keeping this. Emerald Dream will always be my favorite green eyeshadow in the world. Like if they could just make that into a pan, I would buy that alone get a big pan. And then my last ColourPop palette is the Perception by Shayla in ColourPop. Again, another very unique palette. I do love the color story, the purples, the blues. Oh, the orange is so thick, is so pretty. Like these colors really speak to me. I love how these palettes were. Their formula was definitely amazing. So I definitely will be keeping these, but I'm gonna get rid of Soul and Mar. I just don't use them anymore. If I'm being honest, I just don't. And the next one, Kylie and more Kylie. I think that's all the Kylie. So this is from the Kylie um, and Stormy collection. I don't remember which one is which. One is Eye of the Storm and one is Calm of the Storm or something like that but they're both very like unique palettes. And honestly, I don't really use them. The shades are not that great. It is very unique. Like this was one of the first pastel palettes I ever bought. 
but they're not very pigmented palette, but they are very unique color stories. The only reason I'm keeping them is because it is a collector thing for me, especially when it comes to Kylie, Kylie's things. It's, it's a problem. So the next ones I have is Naughty and Nice. Again, nice palettes, but more of collector items for me than anything. This one was my favorite of the two. I liked how this color story was. I liked how I used these palettes. I felt like the mint green and the grays were really, really nice to use. But again, I don't really use it that often. I got Sipping Pretty, which was her, one of her biggest palettes and I barely used it. So this one and then the pink was the one I used the most. Then I have the Kylie and Jordan palette, which I loved this color story, okay? And then I have the Kylie uh, Valentine's Day one. I think this was a Valentine's Day one and I still love this one I love the pinks I love the color story in this I love that it's all mattes and then all shimmers this one's old this is the royal peach palette I think it was there was a whole scandal about this one and the peach palette and they weren't even the same but I do love this one I love the blues I love the greens in it but I just feel like I just feel like I don't really I don't really go for this palette anymore but this one I can't get rid of because it was legitimately like my first ever Kylie palette so so I have the purple one I think it's literally just called the purple palette then I have the bronzed one Neu natural neutral bronzed I don't remember they were literally just called like bronzed and then maroon I don't remember what they were called burgundy palette bronzed palette and if you can see they changed over time they didn't come with a mirror but the newer ones did then we had the blue honey which came and now I believe they come in black packaging then I have the the cocoa by Kylie cosmetic palette which I love and I do actually use her quite often um, she's very easy to use it's a very neutral nude palette I bring her with me to work and everything when I was going to work and she just it's easy to kind of like just do a natural no makeup makeup look with this palette and then there's the Kylie I don't know this was a summer palette I think and I just um, I like it for this color this color this color and this color and this one was kind of weird but it, I mean look at these just they're very just all the same nude and then this is the newest Kylie one that I've bought it's the Kendall and Kylie collection I will tell you I love this color story I love like these bright colors plus the neutrals I feel like the formula on these were a little bit different than all the other Kylie palettes I don't know why it wasn't a very consistent formula so I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani one I only keep this because it is like a nostalgia thing for me if you're not new here um then you know this was my first ever luxury or prestige brand makeup so I will never get rid of her so I have these Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. I think this has to go I don't use her at all. Then I have Tarlet in Bloom, which I will never get rid of because this is literally a palette I still use to this day all of the time. She still smells so good. And then this is another Tarte palette that I was so intrigued by the colors because look at them. Oh, yes. And then like these th chunky glitters. I need to use this one. And then there's these. So these are the Lorac Mega Pro palettes. I don't know that they make these anymore, but I have them. <laughs> and this one is old, okay? This was one of the original ones. This was not from the second, like when they brought it back years later. This is one of the original ones. And this was the second one, also an original, not from a relaunch. Here is the third one. This one is not as old. And if you can see, she is also has not been loved very much. And then this is the fourth one. My girls loved more than I did. So I don't really use these. I just really, I can't let them go. And I don't know why. I don't know why, but I really feel like these could go to such, such a beautiful home. I feel like these two definitely couldn't go anywhere because they're so expired. It's not even funny. Here are some more random palettes that I have. So this is the Mario Master Metallics palette. I absolutely love this. He did an amazing job. I just don't find myself grabbing for it because it doesn't have any mattes in it at all. So then I have to grab two palettes and I hate that. This is the Earth Metals Master Metals. So this is just the Earth Metal palette that he had. Then we have the Wahala 2 by Juvia's Place, which, um, hello, she's beautiful, she's colorful, she's glittery, she's staying. Then we have the Pat McGrath. 
This one is the Celestial Divinity palette. It is one of her cheaper palettes, but definitely her biggest palette. I love the formula of this one. I'm definitely going to have to use her more. I would never get rid of her. She's one of my most expensive palettes, and I love her. This is the Sephora Pro. When this was like, when these were like really big and trendy, I got these, and I do not use this palette at all and the formula is amazing like it really is but it's just no different than any of the other warm tone palettes I have so then there is the Tati Beauty volume one I'm waiting for volume two because this palette is everything like you have everything you will ever need in a palette right here and then this is my most expensive makeup palette this is the all neutral Biba palette by Natasha Denona when I tell you that this palette was worth the $129 I paid for it. It most definitely was. I still to this day cannot explain to you guys the formula and the feel of these shadows. Like I just don't know how in words. I try to explain to my coworkers. Just like it's like butter. It's so oh my god. It's overwhelming how creamy and buttery these shadows are. And then there's my Morphe palettes. So I have the Maddie Ziegler Imagination palette by Morphe. Love her. Love the colors. The Lisa Frank 35B. Honestly, the palette was just the 35B. Nothing special. I honestly am just keeping it because it's Lisa Frank. This one will definitely be displayed. When I get a actual beauty room and not just my makeup, she will be displayed. You have James Charles and Morphe, which again, like I said previously, if you're not new here, I love this palette. I think it's really nice. I just don't use it, but my girls use it regularly. Then there's this one. I want to have this still. This is the 35i Icy Fantasy. It looks like I use this one a lot with as dug into as it is. But that was just to try to get the pigment to show up. And I've tried several different ways. People told me to use white putty um, primer. I've used it all. And it still does not come off the way that it shows in their like model photo. So I'm going to try to use her again. I'm going to try to use her again. If she doesn't work, she's being evicted. And then I have the Jaclyn Hill palette and the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 palette. Which honestly, I think I liked the first one better. Packaging and all. Like I just, I loved this. This is, you know... Meh. And then I loved these shades. Uh, I don't use this palette very often anymore, but when I did, I used it all the time. I will dabble in it here and there because it does have some pretty good matte. The shimmers were not that great though. But the second one was more my vibe color story wise, but this formula was definitely different. I will tell you that the matte were different. Now it could be that that's because they were more pigmented shadows, but it was definitely a little bit different. The Nikita Dragon palette with Morphe. This line had some really unique shades in it and some really unique formulas. I wanna try this one a little bit more, but I definitely really like it because it has a lot of brights and it has a lot of neutrals, but it also has these really cool glitters and like metamorphosis is like, oh, like I just don't know how to explain this palette to you guys, but it really does something to me. Like these two colors right here, oh, and then there's this one, the 39L Hit the Lights palette. This was four different collabs, I believe. Four different people made this palette. This one was the this sort of section right here, was collabed with X Twee on YouTube. Her name is just Twee. I love her to pieces. I still to this day am obsessed over her. I watch her, I follow her on Instagram. Um, and that was the main reason I bought this palette because it's no different than any other Morphe huge palette, but I wanted to support her and that's the reason I'm keeping it. So these are the palettes I am getting rid of. And these are the palettes that I do want to try and I will be trying in the next couple of weeks for you guys. Just maybe doing like a throwback series of older palettes that I want to try to use. And if I don't like them, I will get rid of them. But I just, they're kind of like the in-between. Like I love them, but I don't use them. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved seeing my collection of eyeshadow palettes. If you guys had a favorite one in my collection, then go ahead and comment below and let me know. If there's one that you want to see me do a new or current look with, then go ahead down below and comment. And as always, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do five videos every week and one blooper video every Saturday. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.